a very interesting segment coming in uh, with Broadlands Medical Center. We have Dr. Nicholas Galiotto, or Dr. G, welcome yeah. this morning. And <laughs> Scott Hurt, Head Athletic Director of Drake University. So kind of a unique relationship we want to talk about today because it's in the news everywhere where we want our athletes, especially our student athletes and pro athletes, to be healthy when they're out playing games. And you guys have an interesting relationship between Broadlands and Drake University. We do. We are able to provide primary care for their, their student athletes and then also to take care of them if there are um, injuries, but particularly concussions and kind of keeping them healthy to get back to the playing field and there a lot of collaboration uh, between the, the two entities. So how did this relationship get started? Uh, we had a, a a, a fan of Drake, a booster of Drake, who uh, got together with uh, the, the doctors at Broadlands and said, "Hey, we need to you need to talk to Drake and see if you can help us." And we met about eight years ago, and uh, uh, Dr. Caliotto and Dr. Siebert came by, and we talked, and, and we we identified a real need, and they filled that need for our athletes. The 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 family practice care of our athletes. We already had the orthopedic piece, but the family practice piece was really missing. And how important is that, or what is that, or oh, how does that help your program? That's extremely important. We, we call on them daily. Uh, really? Seven days a week we call on them from, from concussions, you know, the big things, uh, you know, concussions that people talk about, to uh, kids who get pink eye or sick. Uh, uh, everything that, that you can imagine a, a child having that's what we use uh, uh, the Broadlands physicians for. And it, you said this also benefits Broadlands as well because they're getting to Absolutely. witness student athletes in action all the time. Absolutely, and we have the family medicine tra training program and um, I think in previous segments, as we know, a lot of our residents wind up practicing in smaller towns and they will find themselves helping to take care of a lot of those high school athletes being on the sidelines. This relationship gives them that opportunity for a lot of experience while they're still in training to kind of see those things that, that do happen, event planning, uh, and experience the protocols that we have for getting those athletes back on, on the field in, in a healthy way. Well, and you know, it sounds like you guys are very active over there. You mentioned football team to Africa, soccer team to Mexico. Yes, uh, um, this past January we sent our men and women's soccer team to Mexico, so one of my, my assistants went, but we had to plan with with Dr. G about how are we going to take care of these kids when they yeah. get sick and or hurt, and so that was an extensive process. And then about I think it was four years ago, we sent our football team to play the first American football game in Africa. We sent them there, and that was a quite a long process wow. of immunizations. And then there was also a climb on Mount Kilimanjaro that we had to identify those kids that might have problems and. We had a medical director come from uh, Mount Everest who's, who happened to work for one of our athletes' parents, but we had to deal with all that. Did you say the first American football game in Africa? Yes, we played, we played a team from Mexico. Wow. It was the first American football game played on the continent of Africa. What, what, what country? Uh, it was Tanzania. Wow. Yes. Well, that must have been amazing. It was. It was. It was great for those people. Uh, they they had a great time. The athletes. I think we still have a few left. They had a had a tremendous time. And then we're going to be sending our men's basketball team to uh, Italy this August. So we will deal with that too. Now, and you're able to make that happen because of the relationship you have with. Couldn't do it without them. Broadline. Absolutely could not do it without them. And Dr. G, you mentioned concussions, obviously something that has really gotten a lot of attention uh, nationwide, news-wise, in regards to sports right now. Absolutely, um, and I think um, our relationship kind of has that protocol. They do a lot of screening before um, the season starts. Um, I think this year has been pretty exciting for, for Drake because they've implemented the, the impact computer testing. What's uh, that? And it's a computer to online computer tests that mm -hmm. ask the athletes a bunch of questions. They do, um, you know, push the one, one button on the keyboard if you see a red, a red dot versus a green dot uh, and sets a baseline for them in terms of their cognitive function, uh, reaction time, and so that if they have an injury then you can monitor how those things are coming back or how they're recovering from that and then having that protocol of it's not just getting the, the cognitive function back but also how does exercise affect them yeah, because certainly you. exercise can worsen some concussion symptoms so that we have that gradual day by day 
okay, if you did okay doing this, a little jogging today, then you can do a little bit more tomorrow and be ensure that each day that none of those concussion symptoms reoccur. It's so interesting. I actually had my first and hopefully only concussion a year and a half ago, and I had no idea the recovery time involved and how it, it'll slow you down. You get a concussion, you're relearning stuff, and it'll, yeah, so it's a process. It, it, it is, and sometimes, you know, you, you I've done some high school students also, and the parents are there and wondering if they can play the next day in your, uh, mm -hmm. or that f upcoming week. And you say, no, they're not ready yet. And, you know, a week later, they're like, wow, we're amazed. We didn't realize how much they were they were impaired or how much difference there is over that one week uh, mm -hmm. peri period of time or how long it takes them to recover and how bad they were to start with. Now, of course, you see this a lot on the pro side of athletics, but are you seeing this more in universities where they have doctors to make sure that kids are doing things in a healthy way? Abs absolutely. Okay. Uh, both at university, high school level, and I think it, it's important um, that, way, that way too and to kind of, I think, monitor them, we keep track of how many that they've had, and, and certainly um, are, are very conservative in, in letting them back to be sure that they've fully recovered. Mm -hmm. Doing things in the right way. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. G. Thank Scott you. Kurt, thank you for coming thank in, you. talking about this very Appreciate unique it. relationship. If you want more information on everything Broadlawns is up to, you can go to broadlawns.org. And of course, we'll be supporting Drake University and thank everything you. they're up to in the next coming year. And we'll see you on the sidelines of the Barnstormers uh, this Saturday. Yeah. All right. Keeping everybody healthy. And speaking of that, keeping you ready for retirement. Coming up next, right here on Great Day. Don't